to the players in the form of their lives. The highest of stakes, a two-year hiatus from this level of play. And it's happening today. Never mind today, it's happening right now. All 10 bums in seats. Arena full. Do we have any Na'Vi fans in the house tonight? Do we have any Vitality fans in the house? And Chad, we've definitely got some Counter-Strike to be played. It's game time. Map one, dust two. Julie's out here on the pistol, a fan favorite now. Electronic into those. Some flashes and HE for the mix. A kit on Perfecto as Vitality making their way swiftly over towards Long. Boomich on the other side to receive. Lots of action onto Boomich. He gives up, forgoes the position. A lot to occupy. This is Na'Vi strat against them. Straight in, all on the commit. And Boomich looking for heads. Car cleared. Plenty of time, but they're not taking any time with this. They're already crossing through. Boomich under a lot of scrutiny. A good catch from long range. Perfecto draws first blood. The nade looks well placed. Masuta punching in the digits. Half health to work with. Full Na'Vi squad for this retake. Apex is getting cheeky with it. They're coming through short here. Boomich is the only one through CT spawn. There's flashes for this, but Apex is on the flank. He's Keep your eyes on Apex late here. He has the timing perfect. Backs are turned. The Stalk, Apex Predator, first round, top in heads, and first is found in Raw from Masuta. They're so low, Chad. This falls apart, only simple. Tested now, light on time. And that's the end of that. French take first round. Huge from Apex there. Heads up, Counter-Strike. It was too quiet for too long, and the flank from the in-game leader comes into play. Nice little nugget for everybody at home. Na'Vi and Dust2 right now. The map's been updated. They haven't played it since the update. This is the first time we'll be taking a look at how they approach the map. And we saw them get Electronic into lower dark on that pistol here. The force by back, of course, coming into play. Simple into a scout. Pistols upgraded for the rest. Some light util and some nades here. Simple wanting to take a fight mid. Apex on the other side of things and a scout bullet either way. They're going to slow this one down and just go for a bit of a default crawl. Warning shots again. Simple takes the first tag. Apex loves his scout, but he's up against Simple this time. Humbled down to 22. Will have to be more cautious. Bit potentially baited in, but the French are in no rush. Ooh. There's a tag back. It's looking like the French are prostering towards Long here. You've got Electronic and Boomage to lock this down. So if they want to test the water, this crossfire is going to be very difficult to get through. You've got dirty, the CZ, yeah. Dirty smoke coming in hot. The Zywoo special here, the hidden smoke towards mid doors. It's going to obscure the vision. Might change the plan here of the French. He actually just took the scout to throw that. And he's flubbed it. Ah, dear. All right. Well, a bit of vision there. And they are turning towards long. This is all on Boomich Electronic. Simples here as well. Three players for Na'Vi. They're in the right place. Can they hit the right shots? Down goes the first. And a second out of the CZ. Oh, this hurts. Bomb lost. Na'Vi on the force by back are making them sweat. Juggling the weapons. A potent mixture now. AK falls into enemy hands. And Apex and shots up against it. Perfecto's got him. Oh! <laughs> Crispy one out of the deep. And this one falls apart, Chad. Only shocks, and that will do nicely. That's what we want to see from Bit. The headshot's in early here. And Na'Vi responds. Vitality now. They weigh up the options. They go into the force by. Of course they do. Apex, a scout again. Tech nines in the hands of two. And this was beautiful. You could see this long play. They locked down the doors the entire round. They just waited and waited and waited. And they walked into the den. Oof. And yeah, this is going to be something if it's on that form early. The Force Buy here straight out the gates. And the Force Buy Wars are going to continue. Apex again wanting to take the battle, take the biff. Yeah, we've got a very interesting state of affairs already. Early Xbox smoke to imply aggression up the cap. Looking like a B split here. They've got a lot of presence over towards tunnels. Going down towards mid to B now. Masuda's parked the bus. Apex to oversee business, business but there's enough US uh, utility right now to go for a bit of a split here. They got two smokes, and they're going to be able to isolate Perfecto on bit, so it's likely here they'll have to be standing up against a lot of members. Mid utility. Double smoke implies a B commit through mid. They're going A, it's a bit of a fake here. They're going up Cat into Electronic. Deceived, he wants answers, but he's flashed off. That's oh. a lot of damage. Ouch. And Shock's completely grey screen. Oh, they're booked! Three 
make it four through the smoke chat. They've just been massacred upon arrival. Just Masuda now, last man standing. He's found a bit of a gap here, but this one surely done now. Lurks on in, Spotter goes on down, and a clean sheet for Na'Vi, two to one. And now it's going to have to be the eco here for Vitality. And this is the only map, you know, where you can really feel this team has found success. Three in a trot in the best of threes to get them to this point. Duster has been essential. But can you help me understand how even though Vitality, in terms of form, shouldn't be contending with Na'Vi in this form, why is everyone expecting them to push Na'Vi? Zai Wu, right? Ah. The one man. The one man in the server. A lot of you are here to see him tonight, but he can really change the dialogue on his own. We will see... Just the Glock rounds here, very conservative approach, and simple, already leering with a bit of aggression towards mid. I mean, Chad, you've been a leader before. You take, it takes some serious balls to sit your star player down as Apex and say, if you don't show up in this next game, we're out. Yeah, and it's going to be the case here again today. Na'Vi, everybody's favorite. Simple, taking a little bit of action now. Shooting gallery shouldn't be anything to write home about. Farming up some frags, everyone puts their name in the feed, and it is just Shoxy. The last to fall, Na'Vi 3, Vitality 1. It's time for some guns, and they've still got that AK. They've still got that Galil from the shortcomings of round two. Yeah, already building a bit of a bank off the uh, back of that force by scenario early. I don't know if it's going to be holding onto that scout for too much longer here. Upgrades integral, but simple will. So they're just going to manage their weaponry here. The AKs are out for the French. Spawn's not looking great. So I was going to go on for long, but looks like the lion's share of the forces over towards the B side of things early. Xbox smoke in the air. No lower tunnels presence, but Bit just scouting out mid, seeing what's around, looking under the smoke and aid on through. They want to push, but it's not early. He's looking for answers. And look at that smoke suffocating Zywu. He will just have to acknowledge it and wait for it to fade. Aggression again implied. Flashed off. Taking a look. They're getting answers here. Risky business, though. Just trying to destabilize this default early. Apex and Zywu to pressure mid here. Steps will be heard going up towards short. And Electronic is the man to deal with that again, but it's looking very likely to be a B finish. Warning shots through. Apex selling a fake. Flashed off and drops back. It's on Perfecto over towards B here. He's on his lonesome on a bit of an island. Apex gagging for a frag. He wants to keep those CT heels dug in on A. And the crowd falls silent in anticipation. We still have 10 hearts beating into our fifth round of play. So persistent. It has to be B. It's just so committed. And Perfecto, he's tucked on in. He has to be baited for for a bit here. They can lock this down, the two of them. Free aims, not bad. Masuta, he's never felt an atmosphere like this. And it's Perfecto, just the one. B side open. And Na'Vi may have to swallow their pride. Sometimes it's as simple as that. Yeah, they got lots of cash here, right? There's still plenty of money to spend in the next round of play, but conservative early. Conservative early from Na'Vi here, not wanting to risk anything. All three burrowing down towards long. Apex on the prow is going to hear some of these steps from short. And they know they won the round. Vitality bounce back. That's the first gun round here. And they handle it. It wasn't a, a whole lot other than Apex taking a lot of map control. Force of the fake. And we'll call that 3-2. Simple scenes. But that's a good indication right there. We're learning from Na'Vi early, right? We've seen them. Oh, electronic caught mid-air. There you go. Apex finding something. Don't need to push the issue here, but he will. And simple. Greets him with a smile and a headshot. So it's clear that Na'Vi want to play aggressive right on that CT side. You just saw from Bit getting flashed in the two of them. We're starting to see what their game plan is. And the thing is, they can tailor make this right now to what they've seen from Vitality. Vitality have had to play this map a lot. It's been a staple for them. It's something that they've had to show a lot of face on. To get to this point, Vitality played 11 maps. Na'Vi played, what, four, right? That's a comparison where one team's had to go through the paces, the other's just had an easy day at the office. But the guns are out now, and Simple's into that big green. They're going to fight in mid. No Zywu AWP on the other side here, so a lot of room for Simple to work with this. But it is back towards the tunnels with three again. The deep mid smoke, constant pressure, bit lingering around again, and he goes on down. Huge from Zywu. Oh, that's a big opener. Bit forced to watch as this could be another round for Vitality. Building upon the advantage. Simple responsible for a whole lot now in the absence of Bit. He has to hold mid doors. Trying to pluck Masuta from the pack. Pins are heard. It's a battle for information. It's, on and it's all on Perfecto here. They're coming in. They're knocking on his door. Perfecto, a lot of pressure and bullets now find him. 
Again, Na'Vi caught out, and they want to make this hurt. Apex pressure onto Boomich on the save. Simple will bodyguard, but this is a game within the game. They just want to hold on to their weapons. Zyru, he's aware. And long doors, his attention drawn. We take inventory early here, right? We were just talking about Na'Vi wanting to be a little bit aggressive, but the, the same with Vitality, it's been very heavy towards B. They're playing these rotations well, and that opening kill definitely helps. Quite a simple approach here. Focusing in on Perfecto's bomb site, who right now still has five kills to his name. Pretty even spread right here for Na'Vi early. And just locking this one down, that smoke confirms. So I was going to communicate that across. And if Vitality want to have a bit of a hunt, well, they don't have much time to do so. Ten seconds remaining on that bomb. They're going to be tying things up here. Three, three. So default spread really just playing off for Vitality. And it did, right? It did throughout the group stage. Keeping it simple, stupid. And Pushing Na'Vi early here. Yeah, Vitality are not one to overcomplicate things. They don't have great long spawns here either. There we go. It's been so good to see how many people with these different flags. I mean, we really are uh, universal and global. And so many committing such long travels to be a part of Counter-Strike history. Two years we waited. And that's a chance on the cross. Big tag there. Bit slow. That can be communicated. Look at this from Simple. Aggressive stuff into lower. Oh my god, activated and early. They're waiting for him. Simple up to no good. He solemnly swears. Zapex gone. A quick response. Masuta equalizes. And the aggression will fall now into a bit of a lull. Don't forget, Bit caught a bullet from Zaiwu Zorp in the opening seconds. Boosted up to find it and operating at just 13 points of health. Right now, if they want to regather the forces here, they know that the AWP is down. Right? They can work towards short, they can go for a bit of a set piece towards A. Boomich anchored in on long, we just caught that boost. Electronic the float man here, so lots of information for Boomich there. Electronic, if they turn back to him, will have to do an awful lot. And Boomich, he's aware, he's dropping back as well, so... A single smoke remains. Yeah, they're hedging on the fact this is looking to be a B finish again, which, considering how the gun rounds have gone, makes a lot of sense. Lurk smoke again, bit and perfecto on high alert here, that AWP. To the back of Platt, a good weapon for the job. Now, Zywu has mid doors covered. He cannot rotate back. Boomage and Electronic will have to push through and take some fights here. 45 seconds remaining and just a lot of posturing here. The util implies a commitment. Bit panicked. Blind screen. They re -aggress. This is an important duel now. Masuta trying to do his due diligence, clear out the tons, but... This is big right now. This is going to be huge. Hiding in plain sight. Will they anticipate Zywu? It's all about timing. Okay. Spot. Does one for one. Zywu. More pressure on his shoulders. Electronic's got to hold the whole A site on his own. They're all coming. 20 seconds. Electronic doesn't need vision. One and a half. Kyojin low. Bomb that's on its bomb. way. And that's it. It's loose. down. 14 seconds. Kyojin, the new boy, has he even got time to plan? He can get to the side. He should be able to just get this one down, but has to get it. Oh, oh, he's calling the save. That's it. It's done. He might go down after time. Yeah, at least seals his fate early. Enough. But Narfi, they rumble vitality. They rock that clock with such little util. Uh, that's a brilliant maneuver there mid-round. That is a brilliant maneuver right there. The fact that Vitality were corralled into them. They just went straight up short into both of the players. They're huge from Na'Vi just to read that play with the Superstar a Simple going down early. Love that maneuver right there. And this started so well. Zywo just the one, but Boomich, yeah, activates. They bought again. They boosted up and spotted here. And Well, in fact, one bit are across, but they're out long here. Pressure on. Force back. It's Apex ahead of the smoke. Has full vision. If anyone's brave enough, it looks like they are re-aggressing here, Chad. A re-smoke, expect a flash. Apex losing vision, and we'll have to succumb to Na'Vi's will here. Trying to get a little bit cheeky there with that Apex, playing the timing. Not far off the mark. Bullets through, nade back. Has taken a bit of chip damage and just slowing this one down again. The damage is getting aggressive. He's pushed on through. He's this taken the space. Something. He's definitely confirmed right now that it's not going to be long, and he could be on a bit of a timer here with the push. Once they start to feel a bit of pressure, Turning back towards him. Kyojin, Apex, and Zai with a pack with the bomb coming on through shadow. the shadow. He'll know. Oh. It's coming his way. One, maybe even more. Zai will knock down the door. Needs more. Apex finally silences him. But Boomich, that's high impact. Two rounds in a row. Just hemorrhaging players right here, Vitality. This one's going to hurt. Regrouping now, three on four situation. Two players on either side, mid to B, into bit and perfecto, up short towards simple and electronic. This is Na'Vi's round now. Vitality looking to flip the script, advancing in. It's bit tested, connects a few. 
Here they come. That's a big one. Need the second. It's only Apex now. They're going to go for this. One it's on winnable. It's going down. This is within the realms of possibility with a limp Apex. 50 HP, two. Barreling towards him, and it's the very best. Simple and electronic. The head is found. He spots him out. Oh, saved by electronic. A valiant attempt from the leader of Vitality. That right there, the fact they're into a three on four situation, split B, get the bomb down, making the best of a bad situation, but a clutch like that from Apex early, that could fire the troops up here. It was just there. Keeping it close, Apex top of the scoreboard right now for Vitality early here, six kills for him. But great stuff, and Masuta, he's been one who struggled for them, right? The fact that he can get activated early with a couple of nice AK shots like that, it's gonna be essential here. Looking a bit stressed there, Burbage, but they get themselves across the line, and now the scores read 5-3. to three. Wouldn't you be stressed too off the way you started that off? Takes down two. It's back towards B, and that's what was working, just walking in and trading efficiently here. Lots of mid-info again from Bit and Simple, but they're into lower tunnels. This one's on Bit this time, and he's here in the footsteps. Yeah, they've been very stubborn about this position. You can see what it enables Na'Vi to do. It's like an early warning system. It fits be hearing any funny business and a deep smoke and a nade from short they really want to punish this and that's another one for bit aggressive ahead of the flames takes down apex and vitality have to reset now yeah. their plans have been foiled you can see here they've gone quite a heavy investment right now at 2400 in the next round so they need to get a plan out of this at least now jumping in flashing back peeking in and simple there he is just Taking all this space, it's so jarring, it's so difficult to work against it. Tracks the shot, Masuda lives to tell the tale, but still, it feels hard for Vitality to get into a round like this. It's What, with Tech 9? Yeah, it's not a good buy here. The, it should be Na'Vi's round every day of the week. Oh. oh. Well, here um, they come. They're well, coming to electronic. He's towards the ramp. Bits going to be able to contribute from CT spawn here, but there's not many nades for this. It's just going to be bullets. Yeah, those nades are now sailing through the sky. Not much more where that came from. A counter flash is well played. Shots turns it. It's up to electronic already. Halfing Mazuta's health ball. He's the only one with a rifle, but there's a tech nine in the feed. Game on. Bomb planted. Na'Vi's retake has to be pinpoint perfect if they don't want to trip over here. One kit on electronic for this. It's going to get dicey. He's been here the whole time. Kyojin's head bait. Need to see another connection now. And it's Masuta. Shocks as well. Vitality are doing it. Only simple. Bombs half gone. Two to find. He's light on time. He has a kid. And the jumping no scope. They're going for the Hail Mary's plays. He's missed his chance. Has to accept defeat. Now swapping for the M4. And that's the end of that. What a recovery. They're down a man. Light on guns. And they walk into that site and make it their own. Yeah, that looked way too easy right there. That should have been Na'Vi's round every day of the week. The fact that they're just able to walk up, simple execute, get the two smokes down, the avant-garde play into the site, and a couple of nice shots there. Now it was Zywoo, the one who kicked that one off with a Tech 9 kill. That's where things started to fall apart. You can see Electronics aim getting a little bit shaky in that moment. There's going to be a timeout taken from the French here. Winning a round, I don't think they thought they would. Just going to discuss the approach going forward. See where they've had success. See where Xtaz wants to take things going forward. Large, large fan section for Na'Vi. And surprisingly enough, their money's not great over there. Boomage is very low, 1,400, simple on 3.4. So this might just be a half fight. It was obviously bottom of the barrel loss bonus. This is the one-way smoke. Zywoo so stayed very patient on that to get the kill. And Masuta as well, again, with some lovely shots. So everybody from Vitality hitting necessary ones. But of course they have here. Simple's been dropped the AWP. He's been given the big green. Bits put it in his hands. This one's on Simple to make a play. Oh, he's trying to be a hero, Chad, and he's going for the most ambitious maneuver. A tag may not be enough. He's got some support. Bit converts what Simple started. It's Zaiwu, though, that denies the hero play with one of his own. And he'll take that AWP. Thank you very much. Boomich is quite precise. Humbles Apex, but this round is theirs. They've solved the aggressive commit. I can't believe he's gone for that. That was a lot. Oh, nice shot from Perfecto there. And to be honest, Apex and Zywoo are low. Apex is in the side, he is perched on up. They still have to cross back. If Perfecto finds a bit of a timing here, he might be able to take down Zywoo for free. He's trying to Hail Mary here. Oh, they should be past now. Well, it's Watch yourself here. though, Apex. Careful yeah. now. Shock's in the back. 
And that's going to be that. Handled. The French tying it up. 5-5. Five, five. This is good from them. And you consider the financial situation, the fact that they dropped that AWP. They put all their eggs into the simple basket. And we all know why. Oh, they're doing it again, right? They're getting two AWPs in two back-to-back -back rounds for simple. So there's some clear emissions going on. But great stuff from Zaiwu here. Huge three-piece. Simple the last to fall in all of that. But look at this buy, right? You've got Perfecto coming in. He's got a Famous in his hands. Bit wow. into an MP9. It's to get simple the AWP. And that's Zywoo's big green. Straight through the doors. Oh. One down. The leg shot, two. They're heating up now. Oh, that's straight to the Achilles heel. Simple limping. And again, Vitality have the leg up into this round. Round 11. They found the gap here as well. They're out long. There's no presence whatsoever. Simple and bit towards mid again. Boomage over towards short. Perfecto locking down B. But they're out long. Lots of smokes. Molly's to clear it out. They can take their time. Just take a look how much utility Vitality have right now. They can go for the standard play. Bleed out the clock. Two smokes to cross. Get on in. But here he comes again. Already wounded. Can Simple really defend this commitment? Slither gap. Common pre-fire. And low doesn't choose to pull the trigger. He has been spotted, and that's the end of him. Zaiwu again wins the head-to-head -head in this battle of the best. These Counter-Strike deities in the server tonight. That's something right back, Bit. We've never seen a rookie like Bit before. In fact, maybe one exception. And that's Zaiwu up to now, Perfecto and him. There's Kit for this. They can actually go for this retake right now. Bit's close enough. He can get all the info. Perfecto coming up short. Apex is disconnected from the pack. Completely isolated. Masuta has a lot of pressure on his shoulders. Util drop. That's going to slow him down. One in response, though. Bomb. Half tick. Pressure mounting now. Kit on the Perfecto. Orb. They're saving the orb. They're getting out. Oh, and that's the end of that. Didn't want anything to do with that. Waving the white flag. Yeah, they, they really had a good crack at that, right? You consider the fact that we can see Masuda, he's almost half HP. The positioning wasn't too bad. The kit was in the mix. There's a real chance for that, but both teams walking away with the orbs for their superstars here. And Vitality are going to take the lead. So they're just grinding out these rounds now. Navi with a couple of curious financial decisions in the last few. But their lost bonus has started to build now. We're looking at 2,900 in the next. If they take a save right now, right? If they just keep this AK, if they give the AWP over towards Simple, they take a save, they'll be able to buy in the next round regardless. So need to consider their finances going forward here. Simple has a long spawn right now, so we might see him take the big green there or go for a bit of a uh, short boost in all of this, but they need to activate him. In this type of an environment, uh, you want to make sure that you're allowing your AWP to make these plays, to make these maneuvers. He needs to be the point man. You need to set him up. Bit has a little bit of utility to do that. They have the AK for Perfecto here as well. Get a P250 into the hands of Electronica 5-7, so this isn't going to be the easiest of rounds, but Vitality, they have a full buy. The AKs are out, the ADBP 2 Big round, conservative, hoping that those save rifles can do enough to rumble Vitality. Or oh, this is seven every day of the week. Early info here. Boomich has basically confirmed that. Just with his early presence, they're out. Simple calling top mid clear. Bit also patrolling, and they're just walking up on a bit of a pace here. This is quick. Yeah, it's going to be real quick. They're going to explode into Boomich and Electronic here. They don't have the weapons for this. A P250, a USP. Surely they will find the opener. Confidence booster for Kyojin, but it is Simple's AWP and already he's put the rookie down, tucked him in tight, looking for more as the bomb does go down. They might just look for a second bite of the cherry here. Yeah, they're clearing a path right now for Simple to save again, so I thought they might just clear out the lurk, make sure nobody's home and then have a crack for this, but again, just retaining that AWP. And finally, in the next round of play, we will see Na'Vi with a full buy, right? Uh, these last stretch of three rounds, it hasn't been eidetic. They haven't been looking for something perfect. They've been hoping they could get it done with the individuals alone. Ooh, scary. There's a hunt on. Surely, Shocks calls it here. Calls it quits. A bit of pressure. Yeah, you don't want to give that AK over, right? Perfecto, not too far away. Oh, he is again. stubborn. An important save. If he peeks his head out again, Simple's far too well trained for that. Okay. We heard in his interview chat, he was talking about the tiniest details, how if he's not on his A game, if he doesn't notice something, he doesn't make that call, doesn't make that hero play.
jumping over to stairs in his example, yes, he still has that mindset that it hinges on him. Fair enough here, it's been four in a row right now from Vitality, so really starting to come alive on their map pick here, needs to be a change in pace. I would boost it again. Oh, and before the smoke they cross, so they are across, might be some pace here. It's the three-man dark play, gap in the smoke, Simple's called that. Pressure through lower. Simple is isolated here. Seven is a great haul. But look how isolated Simple is on Cat. Yeah. And he tries his flick, tries to work his magic, but already first blood is found. That's Bit. They know he's a B defender. Oh, and they're rocking to isolate. Only Perfecto locked out from the squad, but Vitality happy to slow things down. They regroup. A good read here from Na'Vi. They're in the right place to receive them. A lot of that would have been heard. This one might just stay, uh, stall out here for a minute. Shox has actually gone back to long to take some space. You can see him clearing the corners. Simple over towards Car Boomich up towards the site. They're smoking. They're going. Oh, Boomich is taking a gamble here. Will he be checked on the boosted box? It's a rare one, and he has fallen. A site defended by one man. Not anymore. Shox takes down Simple, and again, Navi crumble. Electronic seems to disagree. The bomb plant will put Zaiwu out of action. Kyojin to babysit. He's not got the health for this. And Electronic Court will finish off the job all onto Zaiwu. One versus two. Ready to strike. They pair up. He can only fire one bullet. There's two of us. And he is isolated. Good recovery out of Na'Vi. Oh, the fact that Zaiwu doesn't even get a chance to fire a bullet there, right? Very stifling approach there from Na'Vi. And a round where shocks. Felt like the round when he flank. He comes out. Simple's not looking. He goes down. But great stuff from Electronic there. Oh, and that, that round alone, Chad, is a reminder that this will not be an open and shut case. Not going to be easy right now for Na'Vi to close out this half, right? The fact that they've lost quite a few casualties again. They're looking to bring out the double orbs here, I believe. That's a bit of a change up here. We know Bit can be handy with it. Full gun round for both teams. They're starting to stabilize here. Boomich hasn't bought any armor just yet. There we go. He's going to get that one in. Thought he'd be leaving Spawn without it. Quick like mid-doors. Yeah, this one. Looking to be a fast B play here. Now that's the change up, the double orb set up here. Bits over towards long. Perfecto, simple electronic can deal with B. So we might oh, continue through that. Think he's thought better of it. Flames, nade, down to about half as they turn their attention to mid again. It's simple's territory. He's got a little slither gap of info and decides he'd rather not. Safe passage guaranteed. Pressure now towards Bit, mixing it up, this double orb. Molotov out, sticks around as long as he can, and that's the shot, wow. Takes some balls to stick around in the flames, Chad, and he has delivered what Na'Vi so desired. An opening kill. Now that no double orbs are out, Apex still wanting to stay a little bit deadly here, just keeping his presence known over towards short. We're a minute on the clock, Shock's lurking towards tunnels. Lots of space here for Vitality to work with. But hedging towards B and Na'Vi, they still have three players post, Electronic Perfecto and Simple. If they go towards A, it's not a bad call, and Bit's gonna be tested here. They're lining up the smokes. They have enough to make this execute work. Can Bit really defend this side on his own? He hasn't got the aid of Boomich. Turning flashes. The shot's up. Shy. Second one. Screen is white, but he does find the head. Two from Bit. And now they can play for the retake. Heavy disadvantage. Vitality. Bomb now ticking in their favor. That smoke will delay them. Zaiwu patrolling. And it's a first onto Simple, no less. More required, using that smoke to his advantage. Long pressure, his responsibility. Shox is flanking spawn right now. Shox is going to come behind the mid doors. He can win the round. All on Shoxy. Electronics ready, and so are Na'Vi. Zaiwu with it all to do. My god, he hits three of them. Just by sheer numbers, they managed to topple him, but that is a scary sign of things to come. I thought Shox had that one one, right? The fact that he's gone for that type of a flank right there with that pressure of an environment. You've already seen Na'Vi struggling in some of these retakes, especially against lower buys. That's what got this all started, was a lower buy. The Tech 9, yeah. yeah but the Na'Vi fans are enjoying themselves here. 7-7, seven, seven. split this one down the middle, but who's going to walk away with the 8 here on the half? Vitality did get the plant, they can buy again. They can stay very strong here going into round number 15. But that setup hinged on their newest addition, Bit. Secondary orping, right? Whipping Secondary it out. Orping. He's been playing the B side. They send him to wait, and he sends Vitality back to spawn. Still getting the headshots as well, right? That's the, the mental thing with the <laughs> AWP. So, uh, Bit, loving it. 
Yeah, Vine, we can see, of course, uh, the crown jewel of the Vitality camp. He showed up in a very big way to pull them here. And Dust2 was one of his playgrounds as well. We saw him piping hot. Last round of our first half. Aggressive mid here. Simple's pushing again. He's oh through the volley. God. Straight through. They're and fighting. because they threw it, they may not anticipate. Not ready for Zaiwu. Again, tucked Simple into bed. And the early frags keep on coming. Bit delivers. This is going to get weird now. 3v3, lots of time for this Apex and Basuda just walking up Cat. Seeing if Bit's hung around. He's actually dropped on back over towards CT spawn. Bomb being scooped up from Shox here. Still plenty of time, but this on a timing. Boomich is the only one over towards A, and he's just hidden towards Car. Open position. Oh, oh, and a dink exchange. Scorcher. The AK's better. Advantage now for the French. Bit. Completely locked out of his sight. He opts for the door side. Long, safe passage for that bomb. Apex responsible for the short position, and that's exactly where Na'Vi are coming. They have so much util here. Could get oh, a flash in. Allowed. And he just chooses to spray heavy damage. Bit brought so low. I'll give it everything it's got, everything it's worth. He's got so many nades. Ah. Fumbles that. Falling apart now. Apex caught off on the flash. A little glimmer of hope, perhaps. This two on two gets scary. Nades are thrown. Shox turns nicely. He's ready for this. Down goes Masuta. It has to be Shox. Navi are piecing this together. Perfecto's down. It's up to Bit. He started this and he won't finish. Shocks with a 1v2. Vitality take the lead on the half. Oof, smallest of margins there. Another clutch, another close round coming in, and another retake falling away for Navi. Vitality, the approach just seems simple. They've got themselves a one round lead here going into the second half of play. Tense moments here. You're right. Zaiwu has been stepping up. 14 kills for him, crucial kills. Shocks, the next man you want to see on that scoreboard for 10. Those lower dark plays, it felt. More often than not, Na'Vi were getting sold out, not getting the space they were looking for. So throwing a little bit of aggression into the mix hasn't paid out for them here. Yeah, I wonder if Vitality have something similar in the bank. Well, this is it right now that we flick on over. What have they solved? How do they want to approach the T side? That's going to be a big question mark. You saw what Vitality were doing. Very default heavy plays. I had this retake as well. Bit sunk great here, but he didn't have uh, the kit. It was on Perfecto. So when Perfecto goes down, the kit's a little bit loose. You've got 20 seconds on that bomb, but we're underway with the pistol round here. And Fighting mids, I was close doors, Apex to oversee business, simple with the classic P250 in hand. Electronic has a lot of information on the jiggle here, long is clear. Right, we can get the classic Na'Vi, they can just start walking up, but Shox wants some of his own. Close short. Rush out mid, trying to isolate a fight, Perfecto wards them away. Oh! <laughs> That's what you want to see. Wow, he books a one-way ticket for Shox to the Shadow Realm. They go going A, it's going to be up cats. I was here, Kyojin as well, pressure's on. He wants more. This is why you put the P250 in oh. his hand. Long range on the Glock. Surely this ends here. Kyojin though stands and delivers. Zaiwu's here ready for the party. Boomich needs a fresh clip and knocks her head off. And it's only Masuta. He's threatening. He's aware of the long presence. He needs a quick click and that's beautiful. One on one now. All the pressure onto Boomich's shoulders. It's a race. They're chasing him. Boomich knows. A good read for Masuta, even got the retake package, armor, kit, two frags to his name, and they've been great clicks. The bomb plant now. Masuta closing the gap, and Boomich wants to bring the fight. Oh, he takes it, and he takes the head! Huge from Boomich! That is audacious, Chad. He's not waiting around. He's not waiting around, he'll take the fight straight to you. Another clutch right there, and it felt to me like Boomich knew that that chase was on, right? He just, he, he was glancing towards the doors, he was starting to run lower. Told me that maybe, just maybe, he knew that Masuda would chase. So that is great awareness from the in-game leader on the screen right there. And another close round. This has been so close to get across the line here for both teams. It's gonna be the force buy back from Vitality, no scout in either side. Two towards B, and well, that's where they're coming. Three MAC-10s, straight towards the B side. They're coming oh, in quick. some serious pace to this. Shocks and Masuta tested already. Good for it. Rotation's coming. This is going to be quick. And that's the end of the first. It's all onto Masuta. They know where he is. Turns the flash. Pushing in and silenced. They're running in. Zai was through. He is through. No bloodshed to be found. Bomb to be going down. It's only Kyojin and Apex. And the Vitality falls short of the mark. This is where Na'Vi 
immediately humbled them in the first half, but that looks strong. And it's simple. Not the player, but throwing your whole bodies into the B site. Isolate those two players. Oh, Electronics quick on this. Apex is close. He might hear some footsteps here. Having to clear out close. He's aware of the presence, but Electronic playing to contain right now. Oh, what a shot from Apex. If he can get that Galil, that could be huge. There's more coming. Perfecto from range. The Goosh is there. Apex, uh, yeah, he's denied. He's not going to be getting that one. I think he needs to hold on to this season of the armor. He's running right away as quick as you like. They'll pick that one up. They'll scoop it up and they'll handle that situation. So great stuff from Na'Vi there. They had the pistol in this half. They've had the conversion in the first half. Let's remember they were able to win that force by that set themselves up in this position. They should be the first to get to 10. It's only these two upgraded pistols to get through right now. And it's very unlikely to see Vitality going for a force again here. But there was a moment, right? You're looking at the rotation on the radar. Everybody from Vitality scrambling to help out Shox and Masuda. The flashes are coming over. It slows down Na'Vi. All it would have taken was one kill going the wrong way. Masuda here up towards short with the Deagle. Should be keeping eyes on him. He's going to be going aggressive towards mid. Simple's the only fight that he can find with ease. But would have to go a little bit more aggressive. Ah, and the awareness is simple there. Just on the jumps, you could see it from Suicide. Able to catch a bit of a glimpse. Heads up play, the Deagle drops, and this one here should slow on down for a little bit. Now, while we have a round like this in play, I just want to do a bit of expectation setting. Kyojin, the rookie, the biggest rookie in the Vitality roster, is the long anchor. And Na'Vi are the team who are the ones who were just grinding out the long plays time and time again. So they're going to need something in store here to help out Kyojin. Right, that, that in the next round of play is going to be a big question. Depends on the buy Na'Vi have, depends on their T-side approach, but it is a, a test that Kyojin has to pass. And Okay, okay, something more to say, apparently. $700 pistol completely resets a bit. Well, they've got the long control right now, so if this was going to start falling apart, Apex does have a flash, but they're going to need to do this in the chaos. The clock has been a problem for Na'Vi before. Zywu was close. He's actually pushing in quickly, so he's taking a lot wow. of space here. He can't find the gun. He has found the space, and he goes on down. Should be handled here, but they're all defending the site for the French. Yeah, a couple of headshots required and denied. Triple kill out of Simple. Farms up to 15 and Na'Vi up to 10. Six away. This is Vitality's pick. They felt like this was their best bet. And they've been grinding away. Don't forget. 3-0 for Na'Vi. Four maps played up until this point. They have just been grinding. Thinking about this very matchup. Yeah, they've kept it quick and easy here. Dropping down the AWP on the head. Simple. Ooh. On the cross. Spots two. Doesn't take a shot. Fast mid control here. Bit of Boomich are down. Very fast on this. Counter nade caught. Boomich half health. You spoke of Kyojin. For, the, for one more round, he will remain unchecked, untested. So much control here early for Na'Vi. Right? The fact that they've done that off the back of Simple's AWP and Suicide, they're like, okay, well, we trust him. They take that space, they apply so much pressure now. They flash Zywu off, having to drop on back, but Zywu's sticking around here. Wants to retain the information. Flashed off. <laughs> Considers better of that. It's just Boomich here, selling a bit of a fake, similar to what Apex did in the first half, keeping the feet planted. Apex is rotated towards CT spawn, ready for a mid to B split. He's also ready for the Boomich special. We know Boomich likes to drop CT spawn on this, and they're coming outdoors. Yeah, Apex might be calling for a flash. You can see Bit anticipating it. Here he comes, Shocks calls for aid. This is fast. The commit, a nice aggression. Apex through the smoke, nearly three. A beautiful pair of frags and still shot stands vigilant. Caught by Simple, quick on the trigger. And B is open for the plant. It's up to Zywu and Kyojin. Do they really want to go for this right now? They'll lose everything here. If they go for this round and they lose, the AWP's gone, the rifle's gone. Apex did so much. He might have to accept that this yeah, is not to be. Yeah, it's called off, it's called yeah. off. That's it, simple as that. Just trade out efficiently right there. You're right, Apex with the hero play. You think two would be enough. You think they'd be able to defend that B site. But Perfecto there again, and Perfecto has been a bit of a shining light. 20 kills for him now. That kill onto the way on in. Huge stuff, and 11 rounds now for Na'Vi. They're starting to run away with this. And they can thank Perfecto. That's a big kill, right? They, they could have absolutely been bottlenecked. It wouldn't give the room for simple, the AWP at the close range. Oh, it doesn't feel real when you see shots like that. Counter-Strike is back in an arena, and I'm sure if I ask, I'll hear them again. Stockholm!
God bless you. Five rounds away from Na'Vi, throwing a very heavy blow to Vitality's hopes and dreams. Yeah, and they're aware of that right now. Third time out here for Vitality. They're aware of the dire consequences, the dire situation that they're in here. Going forward, going into Nuke, Na'Vi's home turf. 16 in a row for Na'Vi on Nuke. You go in there, that's territory. Simple is the best CT cider player in the world on that map. And then you've got Electronic as well, and he barely gets any conversation around his name. So Vitality is still or die. It's now or never. Need to step on up. They save that orb. They get the rifles back out, but they need to get a CT round on the board here. Being four on the trot for Na'Vi out of the half. Perfecto has a good long spawn for this, but it looks like they might just go for the same drop-down technique. No, they won't. Perfecto is heading towards long, so maybe a change. Maybe they do want to test Kyojin. Yeah, he has the support of Apex, but very far away. It's just going to be flashes. They give it up. They're out. Lots of early space here, right? Vitality are going to have to move around the map, go for an info play. Kyojin and Apex already back to CT and short. They're already giving up long, right? They're giving up long completely right here. They're going to look for info elsewhere. Zywu could push up a tunnels. Shox is close towards mid doors, but they need to find a fight somewhere else. Oh, someone here. Looking for trouble. Zywu's walking into the belly of the beast. It's a hard clear. <laughs> oh, and he bests him. Electronics plans foiled. Aggression from the superstar, and now Long is up for debate. They want to go for a boost. This could be missed time. Simple. He's patrolling. He sees you. Down goes Shoxi. Apex has to succumb. He has to bend the knee. Smokes are across, and so will Na'Vi. It's a four on four here. Trying to disrupt. Boomich commits to the spray, and at the end, he does find Kyojin falling apart for Vitality. If it's mid doors, there's no way out. They They're have going to go for the boost. They have to fight. Vitality have to fight. The flank is perfect. Zai Wu looking the wrong way. And there's more from Bit. What a delivery. And Vitality, as we discussed, are running out of options. That's with the opener again. That's with the opener again. You know, Zai Wu just going straight in the tunnels, gets a free kill right there. It's a hard kill to find, but Getza opens up the account. You can see the immediate response. Where's Zywu on B? Let's just walk up long. Let's take the fight elsewhere. Contact play. And the French now trying to get the fans fired up, but they'll need to. Zywu, hero all for him this time. It's time to play a game of avoid the Zywu. Apex throwing some serious aggression into the mix. He finds himself halfway up mid, and it's the bait and switch. Zai Wu on short as well. Okay, that's something. Bit walking funny after that one. It's going to be an upper push again here. Masuda and Shock's going to push into upper tunnels. They know the bit's been tagged. They want to hunt him down where they can. Oh, he's caught. Perfect find. They finished what Apex started, and they only brought a real single rifle into this. They'll take the AK any day. This is shaping up nicely now. We've got some smokes, we've got a flash, we've got a good rotation here. Three players currently over towards A, walking up long. It's the same as the last round here. Pressure and more damage inflicted. Electronic down to 28. This could still go wrong. Simple's done what he has to. More required. He's going to be overseeing this commitment. Zywu under the smoke could have a line. Fine margins here as he does post another. Simple's a problem. Apex caught out. Vitality, they started strong again. It's only that recovered rifle now. And Na'Vi are in no rush. No rush at all. The crowd already knows what this represents. Two kills away from a 13th being secured. Nothing given. It'll have to be taken, and there you have it, 13. Is this the beginning of the end for Vitality on their map pick? We didn't catch it, right? But simple, they're straight through the smoke. Like, Zaiwu, I, I don't think he was even contesting that, right? So this is the first one onto Kyojin, and then this, the second kill from Simple, like, he just takes a pot shot. You're going to catch it here. He has no idea, huh? right? And he's just taken Zaiwu down. That's the AWP. That was the biggest investment. He didn't even get a chance to fight, right? So Simple's just taken a pot shot through the smoke. Zaiwu's dead, and that's the round. They're back in, Vitality of Borp, but they need to get some traction here. The fast mid control again, Bit and Boomich, the bees, they're down, they're fast, they're quick. And Masuda wants to take the fight, he's peppered up, he's pushed back. Pressure on early.
So much space again here for Na'Vi. They already have mid control. And those defensive Molotovs towards short let them know that likely they could push on in. But here he is. Zywoo flash forward. He takes the fire. He spotted. And Bit gets him again. Another headshot. And it's falling apart now. Bit is so cool. Under this much pressure. Never before seen. Six rounds now in a row here on this T side. Three more to close this one out in a four on five. They need a hero moment. Somebody needs to step on up here. Apex, are you the man to do it? Oh, not today, because Bit is making a real splash here on the stage. Laser beam. Laser beam. This kid is sharp. He wants to keep taking the fights. Oh, yo, yo. Who's next? Yeah, he is to be feared. He is a prodigy. All right, well. Only two to find here, and they know where one is. Pitt's continuing the duel. Masuda goes down over towards Upper Dark, and with the last man in towards Pitt, they can hunt, they can chase, they can take it away. There's enough money to do so. Boomich has 14k. He's not afraid. He wants the kill, and there he goes. Electronic finds that one too, and everybody from Vitality goes on down. They have no answers, Chad. Yeah, max loss bonus, and what? Right, you can get the guns out. You can put the players in the right place, but they're not getting anything here. An 8 7 half, and now a 7 round run. This is cementing what I think a lot of people at home already knew. This is Na'Vi's major, right? They're coming in here in the quarterfinal. They're looking hot to trot. This is the only map that a lot of people thought Vitality could test them on. And remember, Nuke again. I'll say it one more time. Na'Vi has 16 in a row on Nuke at the moment, undefeated. 16 straight. And Vitality going to have to do that one map down. Running out of chances, running out of funds. We are going to see a partial. Against a full board near max money. For Na'Vi, and understandably, the crowd in the black and yellow jersey find their voice. Really limited options here for the French as 15 looms. Gambling, eh? They're going to go hedge their bets towards long here. Four players towards long. Shocks to lock down B here, and they're coming. Perfecto. Out. Top of the scoreboard. 22 and counting, and a spray for three. Oh, we make it four. That's beautiful. And that's a nail in the coffin. Nothing to contribute. Vitality haven't got a thing to say. Stack the right side. Can't get anything done there at all. Just shocks. The last man standing. The one disconnected from the pack. And when Perfecto is having a game like this, that's the supportive element of the team blowing you up. Running out long. Knocking you down. 15 to 8. You're fearing the wrong name. Look at Shocks. He's going to have a look. He's going to have a crack. But so simple. Running around the map. Hunting for this one. They've left Electronic as the only man over towards the side. Look at him. What They're just having earth? fun right now. What on earth? Bomb's halfway ticked, right? If Shocks knew it was just electronic over towards A, he might have a look, but nothing to be done here. He's been lured away. It's only a matter of time until he goes on down. Simple still just bunny hopping around the map. He doesn't care. Well, that's an embodiment of how good this feels for Na'Vi. That's eight in a row. And down goes Shoxy for good measure. Dead silent. Na'Vi have issued a gag order to the French portion of the crowd. Look at this again. Look at this. This is the end. Oh, and fourth. Rack him up. He's feeling himself. Big smile, ear to ear. They know what this means. This was Vitality's pick. Their best bet, and they are doing nothing on the defense. Another tag. See you later. Indomitable. Right now, just pump the brakes here, Na'Vi. Take a breather, take a breath. They have to come to you. They have to take all the risks. They brought out their double orbs. The big red button, the panic button's been here. Apex is close. Can he inspire them here with something? Do they really roll over? He's having a look. He's hanging around, you know. I think he's going to fight. He's been seen. Bit saw it. And he Barrel, sticks around. Barrel, Barrel is spotted. Na'Vi are operating. They know exactly where you are. And down he goes. The first to fall. The leader has to watch this uh, transpire. Brutality. Not a single point of damage inflicted. Na'Vi can go anywhere they want. Yeah, they're not messing around here. Back towards B, making the right play. The right call. There's just one man. It's Masuta this time on the site. M4 in hand. He was tagged through the door. If he goes down, this one's done. It's going to be a retake on B. And we know how hard it is to get back in. Boomich selling the fake again, keeping the feet planted, keeping them as far away from Masuda as possible. This could be the last 30 seconds of map one, last quarter final. 
The semi-finals are set. Boomic continues to expand their control of the A site. It's only Kyojin, the voice of concern. Left the side, yet, he rotated out. He's just left it wide open. Does take one. Oh, and another! An electronic down. Yes, the bomb can go down. But there's a little bit of hope still left for Vitality. Simple, planting, perfecto, looking to expand from 26. Looking for the dirty 30. Two through tunnels, they're coming fast. Simple needs to respond to this. It's his responsibility. Positions accordingly. Down goes perfecto, it's only simple to try and finish it here. The bomb ticking, three to find. He's missed his first, how many chances? The Deagle shy and they say play on. That is huge from Masuda right there, that impact. The pressure's up, Masuda, he had a rough time. He had a rough time over there in that legend stage, but right here, four big kills on 30 HP to start the round. He got tagged crossing mid at the start. That is massive work right there. Keeping Vitality in it. First round here within this second half. But that one wasn't easy. They shouldn't have been able to get away with that. Without this, look, pivoting around. Feels like he has everything going his way for this. Another kill comes his way and just wow. one to find. This is huge from Masuda. What a round. Great performance from him here. That's a play to put hair on your chest. What's well, the double ops again here for Vitality? They're in play. They're sticking out like a sore thumb. Masuta's not going to be tagged this time. What a gift that yeah. they deploy a smoke. He's the only one towards B, though. Simple's actually oh. going to test the water. Oh. A few, few ticks in the molly. Ooh, yo, yo. That Zai was close up towards short, so they still want to keep this mid control here, Vitality. Continuing to poke and prod. There he is again. Masuta's naming the feed one more time. Zai yes. chimes in. It's falling apart here for Na'Vi. The B site's open. Will they jump through the hoop? The bomb's still in spawn. Electronic pulling it over. It all hangs in the balance. Spots them. Apex a lot to do. Buys time with the flames extinguished as well. So now with 15 seconds on that, he can oh. tuck in and tucks Perfecto in tight. Little bit of fight in Vitality here. Lots of money right now for Na'Vi. Simple and electronic, they should go for this, right? They have so many chances here. You're not going to give anything over that they don't already have. They'd be playing the super long game if they were to save in this environment. But the first test is Zywoo towards mid-doors. Simple knows as to the common angle Zywoo occupies. It's a hard clear and Zywoo's quicker. Adds another one in that head-to-head. -head. Only electronic. The other's dead. 30 seconds for him to pull something out of the hat. Shox is having none of it. And Vitality keep a stiff upper lip in the face of adversity. They would have to do what most would consider impossible. Would have been seven in a row, right? Now it's only five. The seven would have been necessary in a row to take us to overtime here. Now the double orbs are out, right? You're able to note that if you're Navi, you have a very good idea of what the defense is going to look like. You still have plenty of cash. You can buy again in the next round of play. So Na'Vi right now, if they wanted to throw the, the standard defaults out the window and go for something a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more funky, they can. And fights in mid again. Decoy play from Simple, hoping to lure them in. Two in lower. Bit and Perfecto about to have company. Oh, this is fast. This is so fast. And down goes Bit. Oh my god, Masuta. He is reborn. In these last few rounds, he's top of the scoreboard. And Kyojin's got a lot on his plate as well. A deep smoke, that's lovely. Buys himself some time. And the whole Na'Vi squad are coming his way. So blind. And loads, they know where he is. He still pulls a headshot out. And Zaiwu's not done either. Na'Vi, back to the drawing board with you. Yeah, they've locked off Boomich as well. Shox has pushed up mid, as soon as pushing T-Spawn. Should only be a matter of time. And well, a missed shot gives Boomich a chance, but not known to be an AWPer here. Shout out to Henry G one time. There might be a little bit of uh, damage name of the game for Boomich. Just take away as many rifles as you can. Make Vitality's life as hard as possible. Apex pushing. Actually pipped the gap here. Boomich has no idea. He's going to die from either side. Shocks with another miss. Apex fast on the flank. Smoke's exchanged. This is chaos. He's actually through. Yeah, he's managing to avoid four players. Hunting him down. It's just a matter of time. Look at this. Oh, and we'll take a knife. Zaiwu takes a little bit of extra cash through. A knife between the shoulder blades. A bit of flair here coming out from Vitality now. That's three in a row. And in those rounds, they've only lost a total of four players. So that's nice to see. They're starting to get a bit of swagger about them. Na'Vi, you know, they're going to take a timeout. Going to get Blade on the mic, right? Oh, yep. All right, boss, we might need your help to get this one done. 
as I mentioned, there's still money here. Navi can buy, right? This would be some comeback from Vitality on a stage like this, but every round they win like that, right? Every round where Masuda's stepping up with a multi-kill, finding that level of traction, this is a different look. This isn't the Masuda we had in the Legends stage. No, I mean, someone's had a, a fantastic team talk with him. The ambition on him to push tons like that. Hello. Uh. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and a smile onto his face. He can keep a brave face, but I think that will be wiped clean if this continues. Vitality, though, are doing it in hard mode. Eight and zero down on the second half. Simple's well, picking long. Three in a row. He wants blood. Blind now tucks into the blue bin. And Masuda again? He's doing it all. 18 and counting. Na'Vi lose the superstar and already on the back foot. Lurky smoke, incendiary exchanged. These rounds for Na'Vi, they're just scratching their head, right? They're not getting the space. Vitality are taking the fight to them now, they're locking them down. So in a four on five situation like this, they have so much time, they have so much utility, but they don't have any room to work with. Bit has short control, sure you've been given mid control. Nice flash over, Bit's gonna confirm this now. But where are you gonna finish? You don't have the AWP in play right now to be scary. Na'Vi are still just five precise clicks of the mouse away from taking Vitality's map and running straight towards theirs. Nuke an undefeated spree. 35 now, they're gearing up for a short execute. This is going to be on Zaiwu now. Masuda's going to chip in from CT spawn, but they're coming. Masuda started this. Maybe it's up to Zaiwu to finish. That's a lot of damage. The nade. Starts, spots the drop. Oh, Masuta's farming. He's farmed three. He started this round and he may as well have finished it. It's only up to Electronic. A bomb to be planted. He's faked it out. Apex doesn't bite. And he will go down. Starting to shape up now. This is going to be a hard retake. Kyo just got to hold his nerve. And he goes down as well. It's all on shots. He's coming in fast from long. He's got to do it all, Chad. He's got the orb. The bodies drop. Masuta, three frags, and it may not be enough. Shocks to save him, taking space quickly. Only an orb to his name, he'd love a rifle. We'll take it, a fresh mag for the find, and he spotted out one. Electronic can just survive. Will they call the bluff? Electronic has to check, he will go down, but there's the trade. Na'Vi takes us two away from the French. Hard fought in the end. Good map, and the man on your screen right there, Perfecto. A huge amount of impact from him. Stepping up in a big way, 29 kills from Perfecto. Yeah, you heard that right, 29 from Perfecto. What a great game.